So welcome to another, I fear, TFL misadventure. Basically what we are doing is we're taking this brand spanking new Range Rover Sport diesel up to Goldmine Hill and we got stuck on Switzerland Trail just getting to it. Now there's probably, I don't know, about a foot of snow that's kind of crushed. But the problem is not with the Range Rover, it's with the tires. Um, they do say mud and snow on them, but man, these Eagle, Goodyear Eagle F1s are anything but mud and snow. So while this Range Rover has terrain management, it can jack itself up so it's not high centered. It can't get past the fact that these tires are just no good in the snow. So we are stuck. I've got it in off-road mode. I've got it in rocks, ruts, mud, and snow. I've got it jacked up as high as the air suspension will take it. So I would say all I'm doing is uh, digging us in more. So now I gotta walk out of here, get some self-service, and have uh, Andre come with the Raptor to pull us out of here. Because we weren't properly prepared, this turned out into a misadventure. Unfortunately, in the mountains, uh, you don't get a lot of service because, well, it's the mountains. So we didn't get very far, but I have to keep walking to get service so I can call for rescue. Hey, Andre, we got stuck, man. Um, we're like a quarter mile down the Switzerland Trail. Can you bring the Raptor to rescue us? Yeah, I'm just leaving here for trucks, um, and I'll be right there, I mean, maybe an hour. Okay, well, we'll just chill and enjoy the lovely Colorado day. So come on up, like I said, we're about a quarter mile down the Switzerland Trail, and uh, yeah, come help, come get us, please. Okay, we're up to the rescue. All right, thanks. See you soon. Bye. Okay, okay, bye. Now, if you look, we're a little high-centered over here on the left side of the Range Rover. We've also got these tires that are obviously way too wide. You want thin tires in the snow that cut into the snow. And we've got the issue of uh, actually facing downhill. So you would think that the weight and the momentum of the truck would help move it downhill since we're on a slight decline. So I think maybe with a little bit of work and a little bit of luck, we might be able to get out of here before um, Andre comes. If you look right here, these tires are Goodyear Eagle F1s. It says M&S right there, and that stands for mud and snow. They're uh, 255, uh, 5520, so they're big. These tires are really summer tires, and uh, um, this vehicle has a lot of capabilities, just not with these tires. So this is probably why the Range Rover guys say that it's not seven years of the third owner that takes their truck off-road because of the potential for, for this. Don't want to get blood all over the inside of this beautiful vehicle. I don't want to risk puncturing a tire, especially since we have Andre coming to pull us out of here. Uh, so I think given enough time, and enough cuts and injuries that could probably get us unstuck, but uh, let's not damage the car and let's just uh, use the tools that we have at hand to come and rescue us. This is a Land Rover Range Rover Sport. Now I know that's confusing, but the company is Land Rover, the model is Range Rover Sport, and we have the diesel, which normally would be great fuel economy, and it does, 22 city, 29 highway, 25 combined. But in this situation, the diesel engine is a lot heavier, so it's probably not helping us. Now, check out this. We have an eight-speed automatic, a three-liter that puts out 245 horsepower, and 443 pound-foot of torque. Now, this V6 is very powerful, it's turbocharged, and none of that matters in this situation. And as tested price, it ain't cheap, boys, 84260 
Hey, hey, Ian, just uh, a word to the wise. If you get thirsty, we've got some really great snow, but not the yellow stuff, okay? Not the yellow stuff. The snow angel marks the spot. Hey, Ian, is it just me, or does that snow angel have a humongous ass? <laughs> Hit you in the face of the snowball. Hey, we have a winner. This is synthetic cable, so we don't have to worry about it snapping and killing us, which is really nice. And Andre, yeah. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna help you. There we go. There we go. Keep going. I'm stuck again. Oh, these tires are not good for these conditions because without that, even with my help, without that winch, this thing would be going nowhere. I think I've got enough traction now to get myself out of here. I'm gonna need momentum and we're going up the hill. So oh, just all right. go all the way back. Okay, and I'll wait for you out here. Wait for me out in the parking lot. If I get stuck, come and get me. Okay. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, that is a 12,000 pound wing, so <laughs> we have plenty of power. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'm glad I could help. Wow, if he's having a hard time with the Raptor. <laughs> This is going to be tricky. I think just a lot of momentum will be tricky. So here we have a classic case of the right car, the right ground clearance, the right all-wheel drive system, all four tires and wheels were spinning, but the wrong tires. And uh, it's a good demonstration of why winter tires are important when you go off-roading or even driving around in the winter. Places like Canada, you have to have winter tires, and this proves why. So, thank you for watching. I've got to get some momentum to finally get out of here, but I think I can do that. This has been another TFL Raptor Rescue, and with a little bit of momentum and a little bit of luck, I can blow through here. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> and we are free. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, Raptor Rescue reviews. See you guys next time. <sighs> I'm just happy to be out of the woods. You guys might be wondering, why didn't we put better tires on this vehicle? Well, quite simply, on YouTube money, we can't afford tires. We just test them as they give them to us. And in this case, well, we paid the price. Now, if you're a tire manufacturer and you want to sponsor a great YouTube channel to provide really great comparison videos, for instance, how does a Range Rover do with the standard tires versus dedicated snow tires, this is your opportunity. There's only about 8 million people a month who watch us, so yeah, give us a ring, TFL Car. TFL truck at tflcar.com. Send me an email.